G'day guys, so I'll be taking a look at the Asus Chromebit CS10. This device released back in 2010 for around 150 Australian dollars and features a rock chip 3288C CPU, 2 gig of LP DDR3 RAM which is soldered and only 16 gig of eMMC. As the name implies, it does run Chrome OS. I picked this up from Facebook Marketplace for only $10 Australian, so let's see how well we did. We got the device obviously, which is a lot larger and heavier than I was expecting. It does feel quite premium though, which is nice, not that cheap plastic you get on the eBay Android sticks back in the day. We also got the power supply, which is a 12 volt uh, power supply with a small barrel jack. It's not a USB, obviously. Uh, it says 12 volts, one and a half amps. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a replacement. It does seem to be the original, which is good. We also got the HDMI extender, which is you can flex to different shapes and it holds its shape. Pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these before. And we got the warranty card and quick start guide. So I think now we'll plug it in and see how well it performs. Also, there is very little on the unit itself. You've only got the power socket and a single USB-A port and obviously the HDMI at the end. So we will have to use just a basic USB hub so we can plug in a uh, keyboard and mouse. And also we'll use this little cute extender which does sit very flush and does look pretty cool. I'm happy with that. So I've powered it on for the first time and annoyingly the last owner did leave their accounts and everything signed in. So I will have to power wash it before I can do anything. I was able to browse as a guest and I had a quick look. It looks like it is stuck on version 79, but online I believe they say the latest version is version 86. So I think instead of power washing, I will create a recovery drive and we'll try and flash the latest version, which is 86. To create a recovery drive with the latest Chrome OS version, all you'll need is just a flash drive, uh, 8 gig or higher they recommend. I've just got a cheap 16 gig one here. And go to the Chrome Web Store and look for the Chromebook Recovery Utility. This one here. Click Add to Chrome. Cool. It's adding it. And it's done. And then just open it up, pops up in a new window. We want to go get started. I'll pop in the flash drive now. For the Chromebit CS10, the model uh, nickname is Mickey, M-I-C-K-E-Y. Make sure you press spacebar and you'll see it finds the match at the very top. Asus Chromebit CS10. Go next. Select the flash drive and create now. So it'll take a little bit to download and, and write it to the uh, flash drive. So we'll come back when it's done. The Chromebook recovery utility has finished downloading and flashing to our flash drive. So we'll pop it into our USB hub, which is connected to the single port on the Chromebit. Next, we do want to keep the TV on, the Chromebit unplugged at the moment. And with everything else connected, we have to hold down uh, the little button inside the recovery hole, which is the tiny little hole in the back. I'm just using a safety pin. Let's be very careful. So it's resting it in there. I'll press it with my thumb, feel it click, and it does. Now we want to Make sure it's plugged into the TV, so I'll plug it back in. TV turned on, turn that on, there it is. Now, while holding the button in, want to connect the power to the Chrome bit. I just want to keep holding it down. And the Chrome bit turned on, and I'll show you what's on the screen. So this is what it looks like when it uh, goes into recovery mode. I haven't pressed anything. It detected my flash drive, which is good. And no signal for a second. Hopefully it turns back on. And it did. It's verifying the recovery meter, which is good. And an unexpected error has occurred, so that's not a good sign. I will try this again and see if it comes up again. I'm back again. I have the same flash drive. I haven't uh, rewritten anything. I did just unplug it from the hub 
and plug it directly into the Chrome bit just to rule that out. We'll see how we go this time. Okay, it says recovery in progress again. It did say this last time briefly, so we'll see if we get any further. All right, didn't take too long. About four minutes real time. So that was pretty good. I will unplug the flash drive and plug in the USB hub again. Brilliant, it worked. So just if you have the same issue as me, uh, unplug the USB hub and connect the recovery flash drive directly to the Chrome bit and hopefully it helps you. And as we can see, we are on version 86 now. So that's still very old, but it's better than it was. We will try some media playback and take a look around the device. So I've signed in now. There's very little on this uh, version of Chrome. There's no Crostini Linux, so you don't have any Linux support out of the box. There's no Play Store, and the pre-installed apps are pretty sad. So all we can really do at this point is just try some YouTube playback. So we'll get into that. We'll try our usual 4K playback, Costa Rica. Start it from the beginning. We'll go 1080. I don't think it's going to do 4K. I'll be surprised if it does 1080. On the side of the box, it does say 1080p media playback. It's a bit slow. It does say there's another update available, which is interesting. So we'll look into that in a second. Let's try and get this video to play. All right, so we're finally full screen. Let's reset it. Change it down to 480 just to refresh it. Go back up to 1080. Let it buffer a bit. And uh, as you can see by the constant stutters and uh, lag spikes, no longer can play 1080 from YouTube. I guess it's the new VP9 codec. So we'll go down to 720. Quite, it's quite slow actually. Do 720, restart it. So 720 high bit rate's not too bad. We've got 84 uh, initial drop frames, but it's stopped. Oh, there's a few more actually, having said that. But there's no visual lag spikes or anything. I'd say 720 high bit rate's fine. Let's try a 1080 standard bit rate. See how that goes. I am on the horrible keyboard again, unfortunately. We'll go to the NES simulation video. Turn the sound down. Go up to 1080. Restart it. Looks very good so far, only 10 drop frames on the initial loading. Wait till some stuff appears on the screen, yep. So 1080 standard bitrate's perfectly fine, it's just it struggles with high bitrate. That's not too bad considering 2015 low-end ARM device. Yeah, I'd say that's that's quite good. I have turned the sound down. There is sound, obviously. So straight out of the box, there's very little this can do. Uh, you're basically limited to web browsing and online YouTube playback. There is no App Store or Play Store um, and no cross tinny Linux. So that's a bit disappointing. We will take a look at what the new update was available. It restarted very, very quickly. And after logging back in, I can see it has gone up to version 199 from 198. So probably just a security patch, nothing too special. Still no App Store and nothing like that. Out of the box, this is a pretty basic device. Um, all it can do is, is web browsing. So if you're okay with the Google Chrome browser 
And again, it is an old version, so eventually you've got to have the pop-up saying, your browser's out of date, please update. That is a bit of a time bomb. But for $10, it's not too bad. I didn't buy this to run Chrome OS. I do have plans of trying to get uh, some version of Linux loaded from USB on it. So we'll try that and see how we go in another episode. Otherwise, thanks for watching.